Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a week ahead for Taurus. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for the first week of April. So we're just going to see what comes up for the sign of Taurus. What do we have for Taurus? What do we have for Taurus? What do we got for Taurus for the first week of April? What do we have for Taurus? Please show me. Must be releasing some past hurts, huh? Forgiving? Letting go of the past? You're on the path to recovery, huh? That's what's going on here, Taurus. Ooh, the challenge is getting into another commitment, right? <laughs> Are you ready? Can you forgive the past? Are you allow uh, can you allow yourself to get into another commitment? The challenge is a commitment. Ooh. Yeah, there's been a relationship that has gone sour, right? Somebody didn't reciprocate. They didn't follow through. A relationship has ended, right? Something has completely ended. It's over. Now there's an opportunity for a commitment if you can release the pain of this past relationship. But you have this fear of being cheated, don't you? Right? Fear of deception. This could be deception. It could be. <laughs> oh! Oh my God. So yeah, the Ace of Wands. That's a new partner. That's a new exciting opportunity coming right at you. It's so exciting and so passionate that you can't deny it, right? You can't. You can't. It's exciting. It's very exciting. There's a there's a spark. There's a there's. A, it's like it is so good that you cannot even deny it yeah this is needing to this is this is what you need to know you need to realize that this is a vow this is a real opportunity for love and i think that you are beginning to realize that that this is a valid opportunity for for a passionate new beginning I think that you are beginning to realize there's no need to concentrate on this pain and this hurt of the past anymore. You got this new interest, this new passionate partner here. Why? Why? Why continue to concentrate on the pain of the past? And I think that this is starting to let go and realize that this is a valid opportunity. Ooh. Now, the Sun card, even in reverse, still is happiness, but this is delayed. I feel like right now, you may be trying to hold it back. You may be trying to push it back for some reason. Maybe you're afraid. Um, we're going to we're gonna get some clarifiers. So, looks to me as though you guys have been in a relationship <coughs> that left you unfulfilled, obviously. Here's watching tarot readings, right? Um... And now, you know, you have this offer coming in. You're probably receiving a message or you're receiving a new opportunity to begin again, to start over. I think that you will definitely have a new beginning here. I believe that you are probably receiving a message, a genuine offer from somebody, maybe to start uh, something that could lead to commitment. But you are definitely fearful of, of being cheated. You're fearful of, of being lied to. Um... This is this is this is getting what you deserve. Okay? This is needing to make a final decision, you know. The 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 worst is over. The 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 uh lesson that you had to learn from this past relationship, you've learned it. You have learned it. Now you have an opportunity to bring balance and harmony back to your life. Um this is an opportunity that you deserve. You are receiving an, a, a new exciting opportunity. It's, it's going to help you. It's what you have. It's what you deserve. Okay. It's a truthful, honest, uh, genuine offer, whatever it is. You are being called to have faith in it. Okay. Have faith in it. Maybe blind faith in it. 
trust it, trust the process. I think that um, right now, you know, if you have been alone, if, if you could be dealing with somebody that has been um, in hiding and maybe now they're coming forward. Um, and if you have been alone, maybe it's time for you to come out of hiding. This is coming out of hiding. So somebody is coming out of hiding. Um, somebody has been gone through some sort of awakening. They've made some conscious changes in their life and they're about to come out of hiding. I feel, I feel as though you are really, you're, you're kind of fearful. You're kind of fearful of opening your heart. You're kind of fearful of, of starting something. Um, maybe you're fearful of letting yourself be happy. It's like I don't dare to be happy because every time I'm happy it gets ripped away. <clears throat> so I'm, I'm going to get some clarifiers now, but I feel like in your, in your, you're hoping for the best and you're being called to hope for the best. Be positive. Don't think negative. You know, try to think positive here. This is a genuine opportunity to start something new. Um, it could absolutely lead to commitment. Now the challenge is, is, is letting it happen, is letting this commitment, letting it happen, you know, allowing yourself, allowing yourself to um, be happy. You know, these are both happiness. Now your challenge is happiness. No, no joke. Now can you, are you, you deserve to be happy. You deserve to be happy now, don't you? Don't you? You do. So, um, hmm. we're going to go back around. Yeah, this is an, an, an opportunity for love here. It is. Somebody is giving you an offer. Somebody is offering you something. You know, it could be an apology or it's just a, it's a welcome message of love. Somebody is coming and they're offering you some love. But you're on the defensive, right? I think you, that your guard is up. I do think that your guard is up. <laughs> You probably don't have any confidence. You may have low self-esteem, Taurus. You may have low self-esteem. You may not know your value. You may not think that you're good enough. If you have not met this person yet, you may meet them at a gathering. You may meet them at some sort of gathering. Maybe you're not in the right state of mind. Maybe when you meet them, you're, you're grieving. Maybe when you meet them, you know, you aren't feeling very positive. Maybe you're you're uh, not feeling it maybe you're not in the you know maybe you're not looking your best whenever you maybe you're just not feeling it you're not you know whenever you meet this person maybe you're feeling like you're just not good enough you're you're just not feeling the, the feeling happy you're not in a happy state of mind when you meet this person just saying I mean that could be the case like I don't know what the hell my cat is doing so I do apologize but um You're going to have to step outside of your fears. It's like this person is offering you something genuine. Maybe they want to help you. Maybe they want to support you. You know, and you're going to have to, you know, unblock your heart. Open your heart. I feel like there's there's a lot of uh, you're, you restricting. I think that you are restricting somebody from helping you or you are trying to restrict yourself from getting hurt again. I think you're definitely trying to protect yourself, but whoever you're dealing with, they want to help you. They may want to help you. They want to help you to heal. Maybe they want to protect you. Um, I feel like you are afraid to take action though. You're afraid. You absolutely are. I feel like you are receiving something from somebody. They want to help you. They want to start something with you. They got something to, to help you or to offer you or whatever. And you're just like, eh, I don't see it. I don't feel it. Or... I don't dare. I don't dare. I don't want to act impulsively. You could be dealing with a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Aries up here. You could be dealing with a fire sign. Somebody with a lot of fire in their chart. Could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn as well. Whoever you're dealing with, I feel as though, you know, you're afraid of them. I think that you're afraid of them. I think that you don't trust them. I think that you're, you are reluctant to, to take any action at all with whatever this is. 
And I feel it's because of your own lack of self-confidence, your own uh, state of mind. You may be in a negative state of mind. I'm sorry, I'm going to be honest with you. You may be thinking that you're not good enough. You may not you know, have the self-confidence and the self-worth or the self-value to realize that you are commitment material, whatever. Anyway, and it's in the past you've made some poor decisions. This is poor decisions with a player. You have been with a player. Okay, this is my player card. You've been with a player. You've made some poor decisions and gotten yourself into a relationship that didn't last. You know, didn't there was no follow through. And I feel as though, um, you know, that dream, that dream that you had, that you were going to be able to make it work with whoever this person, you know, that dream died. So I think that you don't trust. I think you don't want to get yourself involved in any chaotic situations. It's like, man, I just, I don't, I don't want to get myself in any false romance. Anyway, I think in the past, you know, you you probably been holding on to this for a while as well. I think now you have an opportunity to let go of this past, to stop making the same decisions, to stop juggling, to stop, you know, holding on to this pain. You know, you have an opportunity to move forward. You have you have choice here. You can keep holding on to the pain of the past and not forgive the past or you can move forward. You have a choice at this point. You have two paths. You have an opportunity to go through a new doorway right now. It looks to me that could lead to a lot of happiness. But it looks like you, you know, you're restricting yourself. You are def definitely restricting yourself. And it's almost like you're restricting yourself from a partnership. This is a two's a partnership. Two, two, two down here. You know, it's a partnership. It's like you're trying to protect yourself from giving your heart away. So right here we are. Okay. Um, it's like you want it, you want it, but you don't dare. There's fear of change here. There is. And I think that right now you have an opportunity to, to go forward, to move forward. Um, <clears throat> right now you, you probably have somebody that wants to protect you. Like I said, this person wants to protect you. This is a protector. This could be a father. This is a this is some this is a man who is very dominant. This is a very protective man, very mature, very stable, very solid, very decisive. This is a family man. This is this is what's right now, this is what's coming in. <clears throat> this person is coming out of a period of stagnation. They are. This person is He picks you. This person is picking you. They are choosing you, whoever this person is. But this is this is messed up right here. A seven of swords. That's deception. That's deception. They're trying to protect you from getting hurt. Oh, they're per trying to protect you from getting somebody. It wants to protect you. This is not putting in effort, not, not working. This could have something to do with your job. Something ha isn't working. <clears throat> There's a delay. There's a delay. Something isn't moving forward. This is investing time and energy in something that has no growth. They may be try this person may be trying to protect you from wasting your time on something that isn't going to work. Interesting. This could be you. This could be you taking on this energy, trying to protect yourself from getting involved in something that isn't going to work. So you may be, or somebody is trying to protect you. 
Now, this is a masculine. The emperor is a masculine. The empress is a feminine. We have a masculine here that... is trying to protect. There's absolutely no doubt. <laughs> In the future, we have a new passionate beginning. We do coming right around the corner. I mean, right around the We have a new passionate start here. This is an offer of love. I think it's going to be accepted. It is going to be accepted. It's something that you won't want to fight anyway. It's like you're not going to want to, you're not going to want to fight it. You're not going to fight it. Because it's, it's a true connection. It's love. It is love. It is love. This is accepting an offer. It's too, it's too desirable to pass up. It's like you're not going to fight it. And maybe this is what this is. You you don't have to work for it because it's that easy. This person's going to take control. This per It's like somebody is coming in. Somebody is coming in. If you are the masculine, then this is you. I'm sorry. If you are the masculine, this is you. This is you protecting somebody. You wanting to take control of a situation. If you are the feminine, if you are the female, this is a man that is coming in to protect you. And you're not going to have to do all the work. It's like they're going to come in and they're going to do the work. They're going to, it's not like you don't have to do any work, but they're going to put in a lot of effort. That's what I think. I think that you're not going to have to do the work. Where in the past, you had to do the work. So anyway, we have a new love connection here that is probably going to be accepted because it's just too good it's just too it's really 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 good i mean this is a this is a partnership that is so attractive to you that i don't think you're gonna be able to you know push it away i don't th i think it's gonna help you to let go of those past wounds that's what's coming in i mean we have a passionate new partnership starting here um your approach, oh, your approach is to probably try to let go of your bitterness. I mean, you got to let go of your bitterness. Right here, this is resentful. This is bitterness. This is anger. This is, you know, cold, you know. Maybe maybe you got to let go of that. You know, you got to believe. You got to go in this with blind faith. Maybe you got to let your guard down. Maybe this is, you're getting what you deserve at this time for the pain that you have endured. So I'm here to tell you to have some blind faith here. Try, try, try to believe in this, this connection. Um, you know, I think there's been some sort of upheaval. There's been some sort of upheaval that has probably caused somebody to not believe. There's been some sort of midlife crisis. There's been some sort of crisis here that has, that has caused some upheaval in your life. But, you know, this has all happened to bring you what you deserve. So you definitely have a love offer coming in, Taurus, that it has potential to make you really, really happy where, you know, we'll, we'll get to that in a minute. You know, but I feel like you guys are putting a wedge. It's like you're putting it, you're putting the brakes on it for some reason. I feel for some reason you're just really, really scared to get yourself in, into any false foundations. But whatever is happening is happening for a reason. It's happening to bring you something better. But I feel like you guys are trying to avoid change because I have fear of rejection, fear of being let down again. Oh my goodness. Yeah, but you know, it's time. It's time to remove that obstacle of fear. It's time to remove those negative thoughts. It's time to allow. It's time to, you know, let fate help you. This is fate. These are both cards of fate. Let fate help you. It's like this is fate and and karma stepping in to bring you what you deserve, but you're going to have to let your guard down. Oh my goodness. You know, this is fear of of being rejected so i feel like you're really afraid to get to fall in love you're afraid to get yourself involved and let yourself be happy just to be uh rejected in the end so yeah there's definitely fear of commitment Woo. so this is what you've been waiting for this is a genuine offer of love it is all you have to do is open your eyes to it. Somebody is interested. Somebody has real feelings. They have developed feelings. This is good news. It really is.
but it's always a but isn't there you may fear you you this is lack of stability lack of security this is turning it down this is turning it down because of lack of confidence lack of focus you may you may feel like this person you know isn't focused enough you may feel like this person isn't being true to you you may feel like You know, this looks like you're unable to move on from your troubled thoughts, your own insecurities. You're receiving, this is your hopes and fears, okay? You're receiving a genuine offer. You're receiving emotional support from somebody who wants to help you. But you don't have any confidence that this is a stable, solid offer. And that's all in your head. That's all in your head. Let this person help you. Your overall outcome. Confusion. Oh my goodness. The overall outcome is happiness. But you're gonna you might have to make some compromises. You might have to openly communicate and stop holding on to what you once knew. Open up a little bit. Stop being so stubborn. Stop she she's protecting herself really by burying herself in her job and her money, whatever. This person is protecting themselves. All the while there's a key right there. I mean there's a there's an opportunity to put all that away and unblock your heart. Let somebody in. Come on now. Choose wisely. There's consequences for your choice. You're going to be faced with a choice this week. Are you ready? Are you ready to let go of your fears? Are you ready to let go of your anxiety? Are you ready to be happy again because that's what this is there's an opportunity for happiness there's an opportunity for a new love connection but you're going to have to let go of your fears and your anxiety about somebody rejecting you because the last one did so anyway I feel as though Taurus you are going to receive a passionate or you are receiving, or you're starting a new passionate partnership with somebody. But the only problem is fear, fear of rejection. I feel as though this person is going to put in a lot of effort. You aren't going to be doing it all by yourself. This person wants to be in a commitment with you, but you may not feel like you are good enough. You are beautiful. You are good enough. This is you this is getting what you deserve. This is the partnership that you actually deserve after going through this troublesome situation whatever it is. I feel as though you if you have not met this person, you're going to meet this person at a gathering. You're going to meet this person at a gathering of some sort. Um, if you have not met them already. If you have met them already, I feel as though, you know, they're probably communicating to you. You know, I think that they're putting in effort. They're wanting to protect you. They're wanting to take care of you. They're wanting to take control. They're not wanting you to get hurt again. You know, they're... they're they probably know what has happened in the past. That's what I see. I think this person probably knows that you have been deceived and that you have been hurt. And they're wanting to protect you. Um, I feel like you do know who this person is. I feel like this person has dark hair. I feel as though they're a perfect match. And there's definitely a lot of uh, passion to be had. And there's a spark. It's a definite spark. There's like an attraction that is undeniable here. But there's so much fear. There's so much fear of 
you know, letting yourself be happy. We're going to get one of these. And here it is. Friendship. And maybe this is where it starts. Friendship. I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. It does. It starts out as friendship and it turns into love. That's where we're at. So, Taurus, be prepared. Be prepared to receive something really good from somebody that you probably won't fight. You probably won't fight it even though deep down inside you are scared to death. Good luck.